enemies out to find the true spirit of Britain. I'm on my way to the garden, the religious cult set up by Ian Knowles. I first heard about the garden when I visited the Festival for Alternative Beliefs in Kidderminster. I'd love to find out more. I'm very intrigued to find out what goes on there and, and slightly nervous because you hear all these stories about brainwashing and people entering and never leaving and mass suicide. Hopefully, none of those will happen to me. So join me on my continuing journey to discover what we believe in in modern Britain as I meet Bellamy's people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Arriving at the garden, I felt like I was entering an old episode of The Avengers or something. Gary Bellamy, BBC. You must be Ian. Come into the garden. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. This is Veg. Hi. Hello. Come along, everybody. Come along over here. Let's meet Gary Bellamy from the BBC. This is what's this here? The bunk blocks are up this way. Right. The washroom. Oh, there you are. Yes, I should have come on. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you might be here. Hello. Hello, Gary Bellamy, oh. Bellamy's people. Very nice, nice to meet you. This is Daffodil. Hello, Annette. Daffodil. It's Daffodil. Annette. I'm Annette. Annette. Hello. Right, so where are we doing this? Uh, well, I think we do it in the, in the living room. In the living room? You yep. want to do it in the living room now, do you? Yes. Oh, well, it's a mess in there. Well, you, we don't you need want to a put bit on... messy. No, no, we'd we like don't to see, to... It, see how, as yeah, it is. They, want, yeah. they wanted to <clears> film us <throat> how we are. Yeah. Fine. Airs and graces for the BBC. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. So, Ian, tell me about the garden. Inspire. Inspire. What? He's the inspire. Can't you feel it? It's like a radiator. Yeah. Turned up full. I mean, some of them think that the Earth's on the back of a turtle. Mm. They do, they bleed and do. They think that the earth is on the back of a turtle, right? The Hindus or the Muslims or the Buddhists, I don't know. I mean, had they not noticed, we've been to the moon, right? Mm. When you saw them pictures of the earth, right, was there a big turtle holding it up? No. No. No, exactly. Maybe it's a know. spiritual turtle. Oh, maybe it's a spiritual turtle. What's a spiritual turtle? I don't know. It'd be like a, like a, like a turtle that was very big. And who is perpetrating the evil in the world? It Samson is Archibald is on a one-man mission to save the people of Wilsden. His name is Lucifer Beelzebub. He's saying to you, go down the supermarket and buy frilly knickers and besport yourself in front of your husband and carry on with lascivious, dirty, disgusting behaviour. But I am saying to you, embrace the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights, he went into the wilderness. Whenever Satan starts talking into your ear, go like that, I'm asking you, say, no, stop it, get away from me, go on, go back, and take that with you and live your life by that. Samson? Yes? Hello. Gary, yes. Gary Bellamy, BBC. Very impressive, that. Thank you. Thank you. Very impressive. You are a very, you. very brave man standing up there and... My friend, Doing it's that. not me that is brave. No. It is the Lord that has given me the strength, the strength to come true and say all that I want to say. Yeah. Mm. The Lord will stand up and hit down Satan, pound him into the ground. The Lord has got ten times more strength. Come back. I we don't anywhere. want you to be there with Satan rolling around oh. in the pit of darkness. Yeah. Stop. The masturbating, stop done. the fornicating. We don't want to lose you. We don't want to lose you in Satan's lair. Come back into the light. Come back. Come back. Mm. I'm starting to come round to their way of thinking, the Christian fundamentalists. This is a Christian country. They believe all their stuff, right? And they're in our faces, giving it out all the time. We're a Christian country. We tell it like it is. 
this is our country, this is our religion, this is our God, you know? And, you know, yeah, I think they speak a lot of sense. Really? Ah! <laughs> I've done you there. I've done you there. Mm. I've done you right up. I've done you right up. I've done you. I've done you right up. I've done you there. I've done you right up. Oi, Jack, I've done him there. I've done him. I've done him right up, mate. I've done him is right like, up. Is he like this with you? Yeah, of course I'm always am. I've done him right up there, though, Jackie boy. I've done you oh. right up. I've done him right up, Jack. I done him right up. Okay. I done you right up. Nah, it's a load of old bollocks, isn't it? Let me tell you about the teachings. The teachings are the word, and the word are the teachings. Yeah. I have been inspired by God, mm. and it's now my duty, my function, to inspire my flowers. How were you inspired? Exactly what happened? Well, you were a gibbering wreck. Crying, tears, mm. days, just tears, Can weeping. Can you imagine an orgasm that lasts for two or three weeks? Can you imagine how that would make you feel? Tired. Exhausted, I would have thought. Exactly. And to the outside world, you would look like a, a gibbering wreck. This orgasm, was it the result of a kind of like a, a mental penetration from God? Yes, mm. a, a spiritual penetration by God, and it's my job now to perpetuate that penetration and to inspire my flowers, to mm. penetrate them with the truth and to lead them into a state of constant and perpetual orgasm. Jason Laughing Water's beliefs are equally non-conformist. I don't need anything from your world, man. All I need is what I've got here, mm. the trees. Can't you hear them whispering? Jason? Jason? We're out of milk. Shall I go down the garage? Shall Look, I talking to Gary. I don't need to I talk to you now. Well. Oh, hi. Hello. I didn't know there's more people in there. Yeah, this is my queen, Jados. Hi, Gary. Hi. She's a princess. Nice in love and light. In love oh. and light. Nice to meet you. Merry meet and merry part till we merry meet again. I'm a white witch. Are she, you? Yeah. yeah. Because white witches are like good witches, whereas black witches are, d are dangerous, evil ones. Yes. Yeah. Now we've got the circle. The circle must remain unbroken. When you go down the shops, can you get me a DVD? Yeah, what do you want? Saw five? Yeah, any, any of the saws. OK. This is making me a bit dizzy. I yeah. know, it does. Well, that's the power. Not out of date. Sometimes, even conventional religions can be difficult for outsiders to understand, but it's our duty to try. First of all, thank you for uh, welcoming me here into your mosque. It's lovely to be here. It's very nice, very peaceful. I'd like to start by asking you, um, as Muslims, do you believe that all non uh, mus No. Sorry, I, I just don't want to say anything that might um, offend you, because I know I touch you. Well, I know it's a very touchy, difficult subject, you know, to, to discuss. Um, so, let's word it this way. A lot of people might say, but not, not me, but a lot of people might accuse you, not accuse you, but think that maybe some of the, some of the things that uh, you believe in are, how can I say, not that I would say it, but this is what other people might think when they look at what some of the things you, not all of you believe in, but some of you do believe in or do, that like, oh, this is a minefield. Do you know the song, um, Starman? Yes, David Bowie, Bowie, yeah. There's a Starman waiting in the sky, that's God. Mm. Sing Don't sing it. He'd like to come and meet us, yeah, obviously. Oh. Don't sing it. I'm just trying to remember the words. <laughs> Can't remember them. Because he thinks he'd blow our minds. That's it, blow your minds. Yeah. And that's true. Most people, if they'd been through what I went through, would have died. A three-week-long orgasm would have killed them. I can't inspire you with the full knowledge of what I know, the full teachings. If I was to put them into you now, mm -hmm. it would blow your mind. Mm. You haven't blown the minds of everyone else here, have you? You're giving them the teachings. Their minds haven't blown. We're your minds it. aren't... Well, I don't know about his, but... We're taking it how one they... step at a time. I can tell you what the trees are called. I can tell you that. She can. Things. She can hear them, man. She's a conduit to our world, a tree whisperer. Mm -hmm. This one's Lloyd. 
This one's Priscilla. Priscilla? I can feel energies, and I feel I feel most energy from my pussy. True, man. It's like a font of everything in her pussy. Oh. What's up with that? That's the centre of a woman's energy, her is pussy. It? Is it? Everything is a pussy, you yeah. know? This could be a pussy. It's like a big stone gash, you know? Oh, look. It's given birth. Ah. <laughs> I like Shadow Man. Congratulations, it's a boy! What's all this? TV. He brings TV cameras Who's into that, the then? programme. <laughs> that will turn it into light. How many are you living there? How many are in there? Have you got any more people Hundreds. in there? <laughs> Hundreds? Yeah. Yeah, most of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about him, man. What happened to your um to your eye? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Sorry, Gary. You're all right. Sorry about that. Oh. Come on. I asked Sam Maitland how she felt the traditional Christian church could compete with alternative and more hedonistic belief systems and be more attractive to young people. Well, Gary, it is a problem. And we, we try everything we can do because it's wonderful when you have mm. children in the church. It really comes alive. And we've tried parties and we've tried games and we put on drinks afterwards. Mm. We've got orange squash and lemon squash and black currant squash. We even tried fruit juice, but um, still they didn't come. Mm. So You could try alcohol. I mean, because alcohol is quite cheap in, in, in the supermarkets at the moment. I'm thinking that could help the teenagers. Well, it is cheap, but I don't really think you can start inducing people to go to church with alcohol. I think that's a pretty slippery slope, don't you? Yes, but you, I'm not telling them to get drunk, but you just might entice... You well, know, we to... do have a mulled wine and at the Christmas safe. party, of course. Yeah. And when the teenagers have their disco, they do have a couple of wine boxes. We're not yeah. stupid about it, but we can't really start uh, promoting ourselves on the basis of cheap alcohol can be got here. No, of course. No, I understand. <laughs> now, uh, Christianity has modernised uh, itself. You know, there have been retellings of the Bible. Um, and, you know, the television programmes and films about Jesus and, you know, quite good ones, um, some of them. But do you think that maybe that Islam could... could uh, would you agree that... Of course you wouldn't agree. A lot of people say, how can all religions be true? Mm. And they use that as an argument to say, therefore, none of them are true. Mm. Because they contradict each other. But actually, if you look at it, they don't. All religions are true, but they are, they are fragments of the truth. Like this jigsaw puzzle here. This is one religion. Mm. Now, if you look at that... Don't lose those parts. I won't lose it. I won't lose it. You look at that and you think, what is that? What could that be? Well, that's that's someone's, someone's face. foot, isn't it? I think so. So many pieces, I can't do this. You can only see what the picture is when all the pieces are put in, yeah? It's a thatched cottage. Yeah, that's actually not that important, the actual picture. Thank you, Betch. Right. What's important is that when you've done the... ..when you've done the puzzle, mm. you can see the whole picture. And that's what human history's been like, because, as I've said before, if God was to show us the whole picture in one go, uh, it would absolutely blow our minds. They say, don't they, God moves in mysterious ways, but I think enough now with the mystery. Yeah. You know, if he's there... Come out properly now and reveal yourself and stop all the misery, the famine, the interfighting and all. That wouldn't take much, would it? No. All he's got to do is pop out from up behind the clothes and go, here I am, I'm you. <laughs> you know, it's all mm. true, I'm God. Yeah. You lot were right, huh? You lot were wrong, you lot were half right, half wrong, and you lot didn't have a bloody clue. <laughs> and, then, and, and then that would be that, eh? I mean, come out, reveal himself in a, like a populated area. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't do it to some bloody Guatemalan peasant or some bloody 12-year-old girl in southern Spain, you know. <laughs> little word of advice for mm. God now. He needs to be unequivocal. Mm. Un-e-bloody-equivocal. Mm. Yeah? Your hair's moving in mysterious ways. Yeah. Maybe that's a sign. This is where I lost my virginity. Yeah, three and a half thousand years ago to a Norse god. Yeah. Really? He was gentle with her. Is there someone wants to get some milk and that? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some milk. Because I'm not going down that garage again, right? Last time I went down there, right? A bloke, he, he just come at us. He just come at us like that. Right. Like that. I've gone, you know, he's gone like that. 
Yeah. So I've gone like that. All oh, right, yeah. And I've gone like that. Yeah. 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 And so I've gone like that, and I've come back, and I've gone like that. All right, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's gone like that. And, yeah. and then he's gone like that, and I've gone like that. Right. And he's come with us again like that. Right. And I've come back like that. Right. And he's gone like that. And yeah. I've gone like that. Yes, I mean, I definitely say that uh, religion is a very important part of my life. And uh, Protestantism, I suppose, is mm. the, 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 the guiding path of my spiritual journey. I mean, I can literally hear Martin Luther mm. speaking to me. Mm. Uh, I have there. a dream. Now, I'm talking about the 16th century uh, German cleric. Oh, yes. <clears throat> who... Uh, as I'm sure you know, yes. uh, was appalled at the Absolutely, he was of, appalled. Uh, Catholicism mm. uh, historically uh, pinned on the walls no, of the church. They, they yes, sir. <clears throat> paint. They've only got the study. They've only got the five litre. We can get that now, or we can wait for the two and a half litre. Makes yeah, sense. the paint. I, I was just actually talking about Martin Luther. He's mar he was a marvelous man. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get the five litre. I'll get the five Sorry, litre. what was the question, darling? Don't worry, don't worry. You never waste it because you might need to touch up bits as time goes by. I think the five litres is pretty good. Of what? Paint. OK. And I, yeah. I do have a problem at the moment with the Pope, in, in a sense, that uh, what possible uh, idea of logic can justify this man sitting in Rome mm. trying to circumscribe my libidinous dalliances and saying yay or nay to this or that endeavour? <laughs> Um, Tessa's walk. Yeah, yeah. I'll kill it. That, I'll that, kill that's it. fine. That, that's okay. That's, I'll that's put good. you down for hundred pounds. Please do. Please do. I said the Pope isn't subscribing oh? anything. If you don't believe in, if you're not Roman Catholic and you're Protestant. Now where is the sponsored walk to? Well, no. Tessa's walking up Kilimanjaro. Tessa's going to Kilimanjaro. Oh, yeah. that, that's what the sponsored walk is for. Yep. You know, in, in, in many instances, the whole idea of of religion puz uh, puzzles me, and I have had moments where I thought. Shall I believe? Shall I not believe? Mm. We need to look. I don't think the dogs like the kennels. We need to look at new kennels. OK. Yeah. Uh, and so... Would later this afternoon be OK? Yeah. And so when it gets to that point... Say three o'clock? Um, three o'clock okay. is fine. Three o'clock is yep. totally fine. Um, where one has to make that essential spiritual decision. I, so I, I, I've been reduced on occasion to thinking, well, you know what? It's a safer bet. I would feel so stupid if there was God and I didn't believe, I said I didn't believe, and there was a god. So you feel fear. such a fool. Fear, really. Well, well, uh, that, uh, that's a very small part of it. Mm. There's an awful lot of banging going on, um, darling. Mm, the paper has something to say about that. He's just made a joke, darling. Yeah, what was it? Do I um, I, I, I was talking about the Pope's injunctions against sexual activity, and then I said, there's an awful lot of banging going on, and then he I said, said, the Pope, Pope would have something, something to say, say about, about that. Not a bad joke, actually. <laughs> 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 so, Annette, you're Ian's wife. You have been 25 years. Yeah. No, she's not. She's not your... You're not his... No. This, right. again, <laughs> and that is a construct of the false world. Marriage, the mm. ludicrous idea that you can somehow own someone. Really my <laughs> wife, my husband, mm. she is my daughter. Mm. My daughter. To think that you could own a child. Mm. My show. That's slightly different. But yes, again, my shoe. Can you even own a shoe? Still mine, mm. but mm. I haven't got it. That's a bit that you can't. The other own. one's useless. Sorry. When Vetch came here, he came with a wife and a daughter from the false world. I thought I had everything and I had nothing. He showed me. Mm. And I showed it him... It took me to see myself. Yeah. I showed Vetch that it wasn't his wife. It wasn't his daughter. Uh -huh. God's. It was God's and mine. And, and yours. And Ian's. And daffodils Annette. and everyone's. So everyone... But mainly Ian's. Now, a lot of people um, perceive m Muslims, at, or they, th they think that all of you are, not that you are, but a lot of you, not a lot, but a small fraction, even smaller than that, a tiny, hardly any of you at all, in fact, just a, almost like a blimp. Actually, not blimp, that's big, that's like a, but a blip. Yeah. Maybe even less than that. It, the, 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 this kind of tiny blippy thing of, of, of Muslim people, no. 
I'll tell you something as well about them, Gary, about the Muslims, yeah? They're not a particularly colourful religion, is it? It's not very vibrant, you know what I mean? Like a, the Rastafarians, they've, mm. got, they've got brightly coloured hats. Mm. Like, a, like, like, like the ladies that used to go to church, like you see, say, they're brightly coloured hats. I don't know if that's a significant factor of religion, though. And all I, 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 I put on a brightly coloured hat, I don't know. But the Muslims, they wear the dark things mm. on the head, don't they? They're very darkly coloured religion. But they, uh, uh, the Hindus, they've got their lovely, what they call the saris, don't they? All that beautiful coloured silk and all that. And mm. the Muslims are very, oh, they're, 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 they're very dark, aren't they? And mm. I, wor I worry about them. I say, they don't seem very happy. No. I don't know. Perhaps it's a, like a, a residue or a legacy going of my sort of um, Christian upbringing. And I, they're supposed to be a bit of joy in God. A clappy clap. clap yeah. Clappy is God. Ha-ha, <laughs> like old clappy clap. You know, like that. That way, yeah. that way, you know, like what that. Do you think, what do you think is more important in religion? You know, is it what you believe in or is it the fun that's involved? Well, I, I think I, I, the way I look at it, Gary, if I, if I was that needed something to believe in, and I thought perhaps maybe that all the humans do, and I'll count myself as one of them, and I was like, all the humans, and like, sounding like I wasn't talking about like another race from another planet, which we might be, I don't know. But I wasn't, I'd say this, right? Mm. If I was looking, I would say, I want something to believe in, I want the thing, uh, oh, here's God, uh, come into my life, uh, uh, and I'll have all the fun, you know, like that, that way. He's coming. I am the gardener. I plant the seed. You... You are the dirt beneath my feet. The seed I plant is the seed of truth and knowledge and understanding. And like a gardener, I will fertilise you. I'm inspiring them. I'm showing them things they would otherwise be ignorant of. <laughs> inspired my wife last night? Yes. Hasn't inspired me for a while. You don't really need inspiring so much. When, what exactly? It's the younger, particularly the younger girls, do need a lot of inspiration. And, and how, how exactly do you inspire them? What, what does it involve? I don't... Do we... Do we, need to, do we need to talk about that? It's nothing to be asha ashamed <laughs> of. I mean, it's... Why do people get so hung up about sex? I have been shown through the teachings that sex sets you free. And I am inspiring my followers through the act of sexual rogering and through orgasm, I am setting them free. Mm. And when they glimpse God in the moment of orgasm, in that moment where you leave your body, you leave this realm, you get a tiny glimpse of God. And every time I engage in sexual rogering, they understand at that moment part of the truth, and they understand the, the great <coughs> ecstasy that they will all feel when they become invisible in, in the words of Pink Floyd, the big bang in the sky. Great gig in the sky, isn't it? <coughs> Sticky Fingers is a good album. <laughs> and the last thing that I'd done before I fell off the balcony was a pissed in Gummy Broccoli's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, are, you, um, are you a religious man? Well, I, I mean, I never used to be. I didn't believe in anything apart from cash, mm. you know? And mm. the raw power of, uh, you know, the, the music in the 60s. Listen, I'm going to make a prediction. In 25 years, there'll be no army, there'll be no royal family, there'll be no countries, there'll be no money, there'll be no religion. People won't have any need for your so-called God. The raw power of this new music is going to make you all redundant. No, I didn't believe in anything. I was cocky, you know. I, uh, you know, I, I, thought I believed in myself. <laughs> I mm. really did. Mm. But uh, how wonderful to have something to believe in, you know. But I mean, well... I mean, look at it. You know, we're, we're confronted with all this misery and 
war and pestilence and famine and God knows what, just an ordinary life's hard enough to get through. But don't you think there must be something? Don't you think there must be something out there? I mean, I don't know what, I, what it is, but I believe in something. I don't know, but I mean, I don't know how. I, I've got this far, no. you know? <laughs> so then I, sometimes I think, you know, look, come on, there's nothing out there. And other times I think, yeah, well, there must be. How the bloody hell have you yeah. got the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The law of man and the law of nature entwined together. No buggeration, buggeration. Even after talking Bring to him for some time, right I'm not exactly sure what Pablo believes in. Buggeration mean the four ass men of the apocalypse reach out and set forward them steed to reach us. Mm. Hear them coming now. Mm. Clippity clap, clippity clippity clap, 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 clippity clap, clippity clap. Mm. All of them has come and bring condemnation for the buggeration of mankind. It's like an apocalyptic Grand National. 345, Kempton. Get a bet put on it. Well, do you ever think about what what might happen to us when we die? Um, not really, no. I've never really thought about it, no. So you don't think there's a all-seeing, all-knowing, omnipresent thing, as it were, looking after us, taking care and guiding us on our way? What, you mean some form of uh, super being, as it were, that looked down upon us and guided everything we ever did? Well, someone you... Yes, yeah, someone who, or something that we pray to, or someone we go to for guidance. First time I've ever heard such a thought, and it really, it really seems to have affected me. Uh, an all-seeing, all-knowing being, looking upon us, knowing everything we're doing, had begs the question, why are we here? Mm. Why are we here? Well, we don't know. Well, we, we don't know why we're here. Why are we here? Well, that's what why that's are we here? You know, that is something I've never thought of until now, and that really has... Shook me to the bones. Why are we here? Well, that's do, do you know why we're here? No, no, we don't. No, no one knows. No why one we're knows. Here. Does that's... anyone here know why we're here? No, but that's... no, I no, don't worry really, about really, it. Really, 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 I really need uh, a bit of time to think this okay. through because um, it's okay. Don't no, worry. No, don't, no, no, you no. don't understand. I really am a bit uh, worked up about this now. Why are we here? Why are we here? Well, we... Why are we here? Why are we here? Do you have a daughter? No. You have a partner, though, don't you? Yes. What's her name? Michaela. Michaela. If you were to bring Michaela here, and you should, you would see... She wouldn't like it. At first, perhaps she would find it hard to adjust like I you. I think she'd find you all strange. But you would see, within two days, she'd be walking around with a huge, huge grin on her face. After I had inspired her. It wouldn't be only me. What? We could inspire her together, Gary. I'm not... Hang on, let... Let's anyway, come on. Come on, this is, let's not do this now. What? I don't want you to talk about Michaela and how you're going to inspire her with a whole load of people around. No, let's stop now. Listen, relax. I've, I, I sense no, no. you're finding this a little bit uncomfortable. Of course I'm finding it uncomfortable. Everyone you know watching what? this now will think this what, is Gary? strange. By finding it uncomfortable, you have just risen to the next level. I brought you some flowers. This tulip. Black-eyed Susan. You see? You're at the next level. What does that it's mean? It's a lovely colour on you, that. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? The most beautiful flowers in the garden, aren't they? Mm. So fresh and young. Yes, all right, Ian. Post, um, no. <laughs> Hi, if you're anything like me, you probably enjoy the making of documentaries more than the programmes themselves. So for more Bellamy's people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, digital viewers should press red now.
After suffering years of conflict and turmoil, I am here to find out what the future holds for the children of Zimbabwe. I always knew I wanted it to be the story about a soldier engaged in the hunt for WMD because it seemed to me that was the sort of the heart of the matter. Oh, this is my boss, the I Gray. So what, uh, you think they left the baby in the toilet and went all that way and jumped under your train? It's a hypothesis. It's like a mirage on the horizon, an oasis in the desert. They didn't try to make money on the entertainment. They made money on the tables. There's an optimism about Las Vegas that's almost like a modern day gold rush. Alan Yentop examines the enduring appeal of the neon city. A kick in the head, the lure of Las Vegas, Saturday at 8 on BBC Two. Here we go then, button with the perfect start. Hamilton's coming through. Alonso trying to get in the slipstream. Michael Schumacher going to move. Fernando Alonso swaps in behind. Lovely driving for Schumacher. Hamilton begins to cut back underneath. It's about the future, not the past. Formula One 2010 starts with the Bahrain Grand Prix on Sunday the 14th of March on BBC One. Tribute to Michael Foote here on BBC Two in 45 minutes. After